from knitting and felting to pottery and photography and even some trash to pieces. The Falklands Craft Exhibition gave Falklands crafters a chance to show off their work and even some new skills they've learnt during lockdown. Uh, well, I've always wanted to learn leather work, but uh, all like the books were like here and learn a belt and I wanted to make something that really interested me. So I found this guy who started doing classes online during lockdown. He, he actually designs armor for TV shows like Lord of the Rings and The Mandalorian and he now does a whole series and he just gives you his templates and does a YouTube video and you just follow along and yeah, you, uh, you cut it out and you smooth it off and you paint it and then you build it and it took me quite a while because I didn't have all the bits and I had to keep ordering things offline but I finally got there after about two months. We have found that this year our entries overall are up on the last show that we did in terms of the exhibits that you see around you and I think from the people point of view we've had great attendance, lots of people coming through the doors, especially given the snowy weather that we've got outside. So we had a steady stream of people in yesterday, Saturday and equally we've got a steady stream of people in today so really good news all around I think. Exhibitors submitted pieces across a wide variety of categories, taking inspiration from the natural world. And what, do you, what would you call this? What's this whole category called? Eco dyeing. And it's just natural from plants. Everything, yeah. like yeah. the dye and everything. Yeah. yeah. And uh, rusty nails okay. and vinegar. And that's about it. And cooking, you steam it. So, what kind of what kind of stuff have you used here? Well, um, this is the local uh, lichen and uh, eucalyptus, eucalyptus, uh, strawberry, local fern, the small fern, uh, dried seed heads. The colours depend how long you cook them for or steam them for and how concentrated your rust solution is because you soak the leaves in a rust solution. A panel of judges awarded firsts, seconds, thirds and highly commended to entrants with some trophies available to those with the most points in different categories. I think the two standout items for me were that really lovely um, roller coaster over there because I have to confess that I spent hours playing with that myself because I like things that you can wind up and the cars go all around the track. And then I think the other item has got to be this wonderful giraffe. And people who I think deserve a lot of credit are the Shield Group at the college because they're making fantastic items every day of the week and they put an awful lot in the craft fair this year. If you didn't get time to make anything for this year's exhibition, don't worry because you can always get crafting in time for next year.